Hey, what's up, everybody? Well, it's Monday, so it's time for the update. So let's get to it. Okay, so today's update, what we're going to do is we're going to start once again in the Zoa Garden. Um, unfortunately, uh, as much as I hate to report it, the Utter Chaos Pally colony was completely, um, it completely died. So, basically what happened was, I noticed some of the corals, some of the Utter Chaos starting to get sucked in. The following video clip is going to be the utter chaos. Uh, it was shortly before the whole colony um, died, and some of the polyps you'll notice are withdrawing and turning brown, and uh, others are still holding on to their color. So this is the clip that I took probably two days uh, or a day before uh, it totally withdrew. So now as you saw that clip, uh, it was pretty dramatic and um, it shows how things can go right one day and then the next day just totally be upside down. So also along with that clip you noticed that I showed the, um, the neon green candy canes and in this case how it's withdrawn. It does puff back out and shows more growth out of that particular polyp, as you can see. Moving over here in the Acan garden, everything's going well, everything's growing. I do have um, this new piece that uh, we're trying to get to fill out on this plug is growing. So as far as things with the Acans and the Reefroids, everything's going well and they're eating and growing and popping off new heads on a daily basis. The Wells Eel, the uh, white lights just came up so it's still withdrawn a little bit but in uh, a matter of say about two hours that will pop back out and the feed of tentacles will come out. The Fabias are looking really really good and as you can see now that I can turn this one just a little bit more you can see where it's grown over the side of the rock and is heading down towards the rock that it's on. As far as the, the Zoa Garden, everything's going well, everything's growing with the exception of uh, the utter chaos unfortunately and I've placed uh, this one here that was sitting under T5 so this is, uh, it's a pink Zoa and it will color up more as it spends some time under the LEDs. Uh, the Fungia plate is doing really well. And the Blastos are doing well. The Chalice uh, section, again, it's doing real nice and, and is scooping up onto the return tower. And there is growth, more growth out of this section here. The neon green frog skin is doing well, but the, here's the section that is really showing the most growth, Montiporosatosa section, and as you can see, uh, pieces of it are growing towards the rock and filling out, and it's really showing an amazing amount of growth in the past week, as well as the Montipora Capricornis. That's really showing a lot of growth and has really, if the fish get out of the way, have really scooped up and uh, I'm really looking forward to how this piece is going to fill out the top of the tank. Here's another section that's got some uh, neon green frog skin acros in it, bird's nest and the uh, purple cat's paw, they're all doing well and this 
the uh, encrusting Monty is growing a whole lot. As you can see now, it's looking like a crown of sorts and has totally encrusted onto that rock. The birthday cake coral is stretching down more and more and you can see actually under here, it's starting to fold under itself. So I'm hopeful that that section will encrust onto the rocks. The other fungia plate is doing well as usual. Now here in this section, the neon red uh, mushrooms. This one, as you can see, as opposed to the other one, has grown leaps and bounds. It's now about the size, I would say, of a half dollar, as opposed to the one in the back, which is pretty much the size of a nickel. So that one and also the one back here are doing quite well. And um, again, I'm looking forward to them filling out the face of this rock. Now here are the corals that are from Billy Pipes. The pink coral, uh, the pink frog spawn, which came in basically with just pink tips and totally clear uh, tentacles. The tentacles are now starting to regain their color. And I'm really excited to see what this coral is gonna look like in a matter of like, say a week or two. Uh, the other one, as you can see here, it's still looking like it's like it's glowing, but it's regaining its color and should wind up to be uh, this color in a matter of weeks. The Euphelia section of the tank is still doing really well. The gold hammer has now turned like a goldish green of sort, so. Even though, you know, that's okay, it's growing and, and looking really well. Out of the torches, the green blue tip torch has taken the place of the World Life Coral's neon green one as being the biggest one in the tank. There's now approximately four heads, but the tentacles on this torch are really stretching high and it's growing really, really well. The neon, the green on green um, torch has about Four heads as well and the purple one is now loving the new spot that it's in and totally purpled up so it's made a full recovery from when it was uh, bleached out now as far as the fish oh one more coral is the, the purple and gold candy cane in the back behind the yellow tank uh, showing a lot of signs of growth as usual and um, looking for food readily at night so the reefroids has worked really well on that one now getting to the fish it's uh the powder blue tang is getting um he's basically the boss of the tank and he's taking out his frustrations a little bit on the hippo tang and keeping this fish uh, on its toes um, this is the reason the primary reason for me wanting to upgrade to a bigger tank is these two fish. Now even though they are showing a little aggression, um, it's not all the time. The hippo tank does not show any sign of stress and eating like crazy. So I need to, I want to upgrade the tank just to give them more swimming room and allow the aggression to die down. This girl's doing real well, and as you can see, if I can focus in on it, right back there, that pale spot right in center, right there is her clutch of eggs. You can see that she's taking care of them. And that's, they were just laid because they're bright orange. What they'll do is they'll go from this bright orange to a black and then a black with a silver tip. The silver tip is the eyes of the, the babies. And that's when you know they're going to hatch soon. But this is a weekly occurrence. 
So that's basically it for the update today. One more thing is I want to thank everybody uh, for the response um, to the video that came out last week about Billy Pipes and his son. Um, there's been a lot of great response for it, from it. And uh, if you can, the link is in the description below. Just keep up uh, spreading the word and helping this family out. So, as always, this is Scott, and I will see you soon around the reef tank. Thank you for watching this episode of Roscoe's Reef with Scott. As always, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.